What is up guys, Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here. And today on this video, we're gonna to talk to you guys about how we maintain our 2021 Ram 5500 compactor truck. For any of you guys out there hauling trash like we did when we started out with either a dump trailer or an open truck, we're just gonna go through the maintenance on what we do on a week to week basis and then what we need to do every couple months to keep this truck tip top shape. We are still learning. Tyler's running the pressure washer. That's gonna be a little bit of background noise behind me, uh, but he's washing the other side of the truck. We're gonna show you guys where we grease the uh, oil fil or, um, the hydraulic filter and uh, obviously how what interview intervals we're doing the oil filter at. So if this is your first time tuning into the channel, guys, uh, this is our 2021 Ram 5500 Cummins diesel with an eight yard curb tender packer on it. Uh, we ordered this truck from undercdl.com. Pretty sharp looking rig, very high tech. As you guys can see, we do have the cart tipper option as well as the winch. We have not used the winch yet just because we're not getting into commercial containers, but I'll give you guys a better look of the winch. Up above, you can do two, three, and four yard dumpsters, they tell me, with this truck. We just haven't done that yet. So the first thing we're due every week, guys, and Tyler does a lot of this maintenance for us as part of his role, is he's gonna pressure wash the truck. Basically, we pressure wash the body of the truck, hit it with uh, some turtle wax, quick wax. That way, the truck stays slippery and some of the mud can fall off. That way, it looks more like this side of the truck when we're done. As well as cleaning the windows, he's gonna clean the rims. We'll use Simple Green underneath the truck to break up some of the mud and muck. That's just like a multi-purpose degreaser slash cleaner. And then once he has cleaned the whole truck, he's gonna grease the truck and we'll show you the main grease points on this Ram 5500 now. So our cart tipper guys, we clean this thing up every single week. This only has a couple actual grease fittings on it. Right here uh, and right here. And then what we'll do, one thing I don't really like they don't have a grease fitting for this uh, piston, if you will, right here, this shaft. So we'll manually bring it in and out and put grease on it because this tipper is tipping hundreds of carts a week and getting used a lot of times every single week, every single day. Make sure everything's tight and good to go on this end. So we just use a Greenworks 2300 PSI pressure washer, guys. Last year we were using an 1800, actually the last couple years we are using an 1800. It worked fine on our old trucks, it's just an electric. Plug it in, throw a hose on it, easy, good to go. Uh, the, one, the 1800 at Lowe's I think was like 200 bucks. This one was closer to, it was either 250 or 300, I forget. But this is the pro version, it's brushless. Our other one burned up after like three and a half years, which they have a three year warranty they say from the factory, but it was just easier to go down to Lowe's, pick up a new one, and now this one's brushless, so hopefully we'll be getting like four to six years out of it, but easy way to keep stuff clean, and it gets the water off a lot better than using a hose. One thing we grease, guys, on the truck is, uh, this is not every week, but this is at least every month, and then of course every oil change. Right underneath there, you can see that front end uh, has a grease fitting, and on the, the front ends of these rams, they're notorious for, you know, breaking down, but we try to really keep the grease on the truck end as well as the packer. So back to some grease fittings on the truck itself. Uh, as you guys could see up here, these ones are capped, which is pretty nice. You have a grease fitting there, a grease fitting tucked away right here. And then as, as far as other parts on the truck, we're gonna need to go on the inside. Tyler will hit all these pretty much every single week. We got one here, one here, Again, the same on that side as well. And as we come around to this side of the truck, guys, pretty simple. I think in total, there's like eight, eight to 10 fittings he has to hit. Uh, the same thing down here has the same grease fitting as well uh, as up above there on the main piston. As far as inside the body, guys, up above, there's gonna be a fitting up there that he's gonna hit. And then you can't see, but down in there on the pack blade, um, there at the bottom of that, 
pivot, there is one as well. So once we've, once Tyler's greased the truck guys, he's washed the truck, he's thrown a quick wax uh, spray on it. After all that's been done, he'll typically clean the inside of the truck as well, just so it smells better and is cleaner in there for him throughout the week. And now we'll hop into a couple of items that we're gonna change routinely, but not every single week. And we're gonna start with the hydraulic filter for the Packer system itself. So we're getting ready to change this filter here, guys, for the first time since we bought the truck. They say the break-in is 50 to 100 hours of uh, use on the PTO. And then after that, you can go anywhere from 200 to 250 hours or once a year, depending on how much you use the truck. We've got a couple different filters. Um, I ordered a couple from Curb Tender, uh, Curb Tender Distributor, and then I did a cross to a Donaldson filter. So we're gonna thread them on today and that way I can give you guys some options, hopefully by the time this video get, gets released in the description of what part number to actually use for this. So that filter guys, for a business our size with about 650 houses that we're servicing every week, we realistically uh, run the truck. Tyler runs it about 32 hours of driving. I would say packing hours is only maybe 10, if that, hours a week that the actual compactor is running maybe closer to like six. I don't know how you would calculate the PTO running aside from literally timing it. If you guys have a way to calculate PTO hours versus truck running hours on a small truck like this, let me know in the comments below how you guys calculate that. But that puts us at changing that filter once, twice a year. I did talk to a guy, Mike Swift, shout out to you. Thank you for all the info the other day um, about actually draining the hydraulic system and putting a lighter weight oil in the winter. We're on the fence whether we're gonna do that or not. I've talked to some heavy equipment guys. Some do it, some don't do it. So we may do that because we can get down to like negative 20, negative 30 in the coldest parts. Uh, and that's Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit um, up here, upstate New York in the middle of winter. So we're on the fence about that. But as for the oil itself in the truck, we're doing that in intervals of about 7,500 miles. We're doing about four to 5,000 miles on the hook lift truck because that truck's a gas job. But this being diesel, we're trying to go about 7,500. We could probably go 10,000, but with all the stopping and going and being under load so much, uh, we're trying to you know keep this truck in tip top shape and keep that oil fresh and uh, keep this motor fresh as long as possible. One thing I did notice, guys, these factory steer tires, the outsides start to uh, go smooth pretty darn fast. I think that's going to happen on any small truck in the waste industry, especially all the stopping and going and turning and backing around you're doing. Very common. I'll let you guys know how much these cost when we replace them. Right now, we're sitting on about 8,000 miles on them. I'm sure we're going to get you know quite a few miles left out of them, but we might switch them out in the winter time to a more aggressive tire so it's safer on the snowy roads. And it just so happens at the making of this video, we did catch a little piece of wire in this tire. As you can see, it's not completely flat yet, but we're gonna be bringing this in to the shop to get this tire replaced. We do keep a few spare tires on hand. Uh, luckily from when I bought the other 5,500, I put new tires on that and kept the spares. And they are the same, same 19.5, the 225, 70, 19.5s that stay on uh, that come on this truck as well. So we should be okay on a couple spare tires for at least a little while. That's about it guys for weekly maintenance. So we're gonna just wrap it up here with a little summary of what we do in the order we do it in each week. Tyler brings over the truck. He's gonna wash the truck. So he's gonna pressure wash the truck. He's gonna throw a quick thing of spray grease on it or spray wax on it. He's then gonna grease uh, around the packer body inside and out check for anything that needs to be repaired or replaced. He'll also grease and uh, check the cart tipper is in working function. Then you'll do another walk around of the truck once it's clean, looking at the tires like we caught today, that tire problem that we're gonna be fixing. This is why we leave our Fridays open for maintenance and I plan on doing this uh, in perpetuity. We may do junk removal, like we've got a junk removal job, two junk removal jobs scheduled uh, for today, but at the making of this video, it's seven o'clock in the morning. We get in early, we clean this truck, we make sure everything's good to go for Monday, and then we run this Packer truck Monday through Thursday and get all of our customers serviced in those days. That way, if we have a problem such as this tire, Friday morning, we can get it done and be ready to go for next week. So after we check our tires, the truck's been cleaned. He's thrown the spray wax on it. He, he'll grease the truck, make sure everything is greased, then typically give the inside a wipe down, a little bit of interior cleaner. And then we'll do one final once over, uh, really just 
checking for anything out of the ordinary. Some weeks we'll just look at hydraulic hoses. Uh, some weeks we'll grease the front end of the truck, like I said, depending on what interval in the month it is. And then other than that, guys, it's every, at, at the rate of miles we're doing, it's every three to four months we're doing the oil because we put a couple thousand miles on this truck a month. And then every six to 12 months, we're gonna be now doing that hydraulic filter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a business that's scaling and you're gonna be getting to the size we are, or if you have a really big business and you're just looking at getting into one of these trucks to maybe save on fuel and save on CD, under CDL costs because the labor is a little bit cheaper, uh, hope this video helped you guys out this is some normal maintenance that we do if there's anything else that we're missing please let us know in the comments below as always guys we appreciate you watching if you like this content please like and subscribe to these videos and we'll see you next time